With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. So, question says that if the shortest wavelength in Lyman series, right? In the shortest wavelength in Lyman series of hydrogen atom is A, right? Then the longest wavelength in Pastin series of helium plus will be, right? So, we have to calculate the longest wavelength in Pastin series, right? So, we know the formula. The formula is like this. 1 by lambda, right? So, the formula is 1 by lambda. Here, lambda is wavelength. It is equals to Rh. Rh is here, right over constant. And it is equals to 1 by n1 square, right? Minus 1 by n2 square and z square, right? Here, z is the atomic number, right? So, this is the formula, right? For calculating the wave number, right? So, we know that for hydrogen, for hydrogen, right? For hydrogen, the value of z becomes 1, right? Value of z becomes 1, right? So, here I can calculate and it is given that the shortest wavelength in Lyman series for hydrogen atom, right? For Lyman series, I can say that the for Lyman series, Lyman series, the n1 becomes 1 and n2 becomes infinity, right? So, here if I put the value of n1 and n2 in the above formula, I will get 1 by lambda, 1 by lambda is equals to, 1 by lambda is equals to Rh and it becomes 1 by 1 square, that means 1 and that means 1 by infinity square, that means infinity, right? And it becomes 1 square, right? Right? And here, the value of the wavelength, right? So, the value of lambda for Lyman series comes out to be, it is given in the quotient, it is A, right? So, I can write here right? the value for lambda in Lyman series, right? So, it, it is A, right? So, if I write it, so it becomes 1 by A, right? 1 by A is equals to Rh. Here, Rh is our right by constant. So, it becomes 1 minus, and so 1 by infinity becomes 0, right? And it, it is equals to 1, right? So, I can see this. The value of Rh comes out to be, Rh comes out to be 1 by A, right? So, this is the value of R, Rh, right? So, now, now, next part says that the longest wavelength in the Pastin series, right? So, now, let's solve for Pastin series, right? So, in the Pastin series, we know that the value of N becomes in Pastin series. I write here, in Pastin series, in Pastin series. The value of n, n1 becomes 3, n1 becomes 3 and n2 becomes 4, right? Because we have to calculate the longest wavelength, right? So, I can write here 1 by lambda dash, right? So, another wavelength and lambda dash is the longest wavelength, right? And so, it becomes the formula becomes R as that is right over constant and this is 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square and this is our z square, right? So, this is a formula. So, if I put the value of all the above data, then Rh, what is the value of Rh? The value of Rh becomes 1 by A, right? So the value of Rh becomes 1 by A and the, what is the value of N1? The value of N1 is 3, right? So, it becomes 3 cos square and 1 by N2 square, that means 4 square, right? So, it becomes 4 square and z square, the value for 4 he, helium plus, right? So, I can write here as 4 helium plus, 4 helium plus, right? So, I can say that the value of z, the value of z becomes 2, right? So, I can write here as 2 square, right? I can write, write here as 2 square, right? Now, solve it. So, if I solve it further, I will get 1 by lambda. So, it is 1 by lambda, right? So, 1 by lambda dash and it is also 1 by lambda dash, right? So, it is equals to 1 by a right? So, it becomes 1 by 9 minus 1 by 16 and it is 4, right? So, I can write here as 1 by lambda dash, it becomes, it becomes 4 by a, right? And taking the LCM of this, I will get 7 divided by 144, right? So, this is the value, right? 
so we have to calculate the longest wavelength right so we have to calculate the longest wavelength right so i can solve it and i can say this 1 by lambda dash comes out to be 28 divided by 144a right so this is the value right so if i calculate it for lambda dash the lambda dash comes out to be this is the longest wavelength right so it comes out to be 144a right 144a divided by 28 right so if i cancel it at 4 it it becomes here 7 and here becomes 36 right so i can write here as the longest wavelength for the parsonages of helium plus will become 36a divided by 7 right so this is the longest wavelength right so let's check the option option in the option a 5 by 9 right so this is not the right answer right and option b right 36a by 7 right yes this is the right answer right and 36a by 5 right this is not the right answer because we are getting in the denominator 7 right and option d is 9 by 5a right so this is also not right answer right so we are left only with the answer correct answer is b that is 36a by 7 right so hope this answered your question so thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today